Hey, what's going on guys? Money Making Joey back here doing another video for you guys. And in today's video, I just kind of, you know, wanted to put some stuff out there. And the one thing that I love about being inside of the rideshare industry and being able to make these videos on the YouTube platform is that the, the participation from you guys inside of the rideshare industry is so great. And it's so great to the point where I really think that if we stood together, a lot can get done. It's just the problem in standing together is that we all have to be on the same page. If we're gonna strike, and I've said this before in previous videos, we all have to be on the same page with the same list of demands for what works for us. Now, this is just something that I've actually noticed over the last couple of weeks. And I was speaking to my father. If you've been subscribed to the channel for some time, you know he drives part time overnight. And speaking of getting subscribed, if this is your first time seeing me on YouTube and you're someone driving for Uber and Lyft in the ride share industry, do definitely give me a favor as I make helpful videos all the time, news and things like that. So get subscribed to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and you know, check me out. So one thing that I've been noticing, and, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am not actually sure if this is a good thing, bad thing, are we moving in the right direction? Are we moving in the wrong direction? I don't know. It, it, it really could be up in the air. I am just gonna put it that way because, and the reason why I say this is because as you guys know, Several weeks ago, might have even been a couple months ago, I think this might have started. We're in April now. This might have started sometime in February or beginning of March. On the Lyft platform, they said, hey, you know what? You drivers, you're going to get 70% guaranteed of the trip fare. You're going to be able to see this if you have a week where you didn't get 70% and the mathematics were off. Guess what? We're going to reimburse you the difference to make you whole on that 70%. We haven't officially gotten any news from Uber on them doing anything like this. But I have been noticing that I am getting paid more on the Uber app. Now, there's something that I've been seeing actually probably started sometime late last year where there was this, this new thing where at the end of the week, and, and it would accumulate day by day, but at the end of the week when I looked at my earnings, there was this other. And inside of this other, back going towards the end of last year, it wasn't really much. I tried to gauge when am I getting this other, and it kind of seemed like it was when I was doing airport trips. Like if I dropped someone off, if I picked them up, I would get some money in this other category. But what I've actually started to notice on Uber, after Lyft did this 70% thing, it was maybe a couple weeks after, I started to notice that the earnings inside of other actually would increase. And if it was a slow day, I, like I'm trying to gauge it. Like when do you accumulate this other? And what I noticed, over the last couple of weeks is that when it's a tad bit slow out, I don't typically get these other earnings. But when it's busy out, I have noticed I get the other earnings. Now, it's not a lot of money, but I would say as a part-time driver, me out there, you know, around 25 hours per week, I might get an extra 40 to $50 in this other category. If you're someone out there watching this video and you know where this other is coming from, do definitely feel free to get down below in the comments, you know, and, and, and let me know where is this other coming from. Now, I'm not complaining about it because it's giving me more earnings inside of the Uber app. Now, going back over to Lyft, I will say since they implemented this new 70% thing, I will say that the earnings are higher. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to cough. I would say that the earnings are higher. But going back to the title of this video, 
it's a little bit funny just due to the fact that if you really go through the trips for the week, the fact of the matter is, is that we're getting 70%, but we're not really getting 70% because like I could take a trip where a rider paid $10. It's a short trip, but I only got three and some change, but then now I'll get a longer trip where the rider might have paid $20, $30, and then now it kind of balances me out. So on the Lyft platform, one thing that's for certain is there's just a tad bit of a numbers game going on because at the end of the week, yes, it does hold true that you're gonna get 70%. Like I actually took a week off and I was down in Charlotte, North Carolina, and then I actually went into Atlanta as well. I didn't drive for that entire week, but I actually got $30 that was sent to my account on Thursday of that week to balance me out for the week prior because that was the difference in what they owed me to make me whole on 70%. I am not sure when we're going to reach a point in the rideshare industry where we can get things to be straight up front, this is what it is and this is how it will work. Because the reality is, is that if Lyft comes out and says, hey, you know what? I am gonna guarantee you guys 70%. It should be easy and clear cut to the point where it's like, okay, you got this short trip, the rider paid $10, here's your seven, because you get 70%. Well, actually, it's not gonna be seven, because of course now we have these other expenses like commercial auto and you know things like that. The commercial auto, if you've been subscribed to the channel for some time, you guys already know my opinion on that one. We need to do something completely better you know, when it comes for that, because we're already paying regular insurance. And then now you're taking a large chunk of the cut for commercial auto. There's a $2,500 deductible on that. Unless I am totaling my vehicle out, it does not make sense for me to, to be under that insurance at a $2,500 deductible. I've said that many times before. So now, it, it kind of leaves me to wonder, like, <clears throat> how, like, why can't things just be easy smooth? But it is what it is. I'm going to leave this video here. Money Making Joey, I'm out of here. I will see you guys in the next one.